this is Hing. Welcome to Through the Lens. We are at Budrum Forest Park and today I'm going to show you how to take those really majestic looking long exposure wispy water uh, waterfall shots that you see in magazines and in books. Well for this shot, it's, um, I actually spent quite a lot of time walking around the waterfall with my camera, actually holding it up and looking through the eyepiece and thinking about the shot and how it looks through the viewfinder. So that's the best way to do it. Walk around, try all sorts of different angles, different orientations of your camera and then choose the best one. Because it's a long exposure time, we need a very stable tripod in order to keep the camera nice and stable. That way we can create that flowing mo motion of water and have everything else relatively still and sharp. I actually took three exposures. One which was neutrally exposed to expose the rocks. Uh, one to expose to expose the splashing highlights and one to expose the deep highlights underneath the waterfall and the dark parts of the trees. It's definitely important if you're taking a shot where there's uh, a lot of light and a lot of shadow because the digital camera in one exposure can't capture both of those things so you'll need to uh, take several exposures of the same scene and maybe blend the two together or use a process known as HDR or high dynamic range. Okay the HDR process in Photoshop uh, is simply opening up your raw files in Photoshop clicking on file, uh, automate merge to HDR and then the program will merge them into one 32-bit HDR image. You then need to convert that into a 16-bit image by clicking image, mode and then 16-bit. That will then give you a curve which you can stretch and pull into a decent HDR image. Well, the curve adjustment in HDR, all we're doing is we're taking this much information and we're compressing it into this much information. Um, and this is done through a curve adjustment. So what we do is we take the straight line of the curve and we pull one end of it up and drag the other one down in what we call a classic S-curve or reverse S-curve. And what this actually does is drag highlights back into detail and shadows, black spots, back into detail so that we get a good uh, natural looking HDR image. A lot of these shots can't be planned, they just happen on the, on the day, but there are some things that you can do to plan for these things. Pay attention to the weather. If it's been raining a lot, you know that the local waterfalls are going to be full of water. Also pay attention to uh, weather maps and cloud maps because they will give you an indication of the kind of light you can experience on that day.